Hi, you're watching Dr. Maria TV, and I'm Dr. Maria Church, your leadership host. This is the right place to be to create the organization, business, and life that you love with your irresistible leadership. Recently working with a client, we were discussing how we show up. You know, we've studied so much and learned so much about good communication skills and, and body language that many of us have mastered the art of listening with our bodies. You know, bodies leaning in, head nodding, eyes fixed on the other person, yet all the while our minds are anywhere but that conversation or you have thoughts fixed on what you're gonna say next, not really listening to the words coming out of the other person's mouth. <laughs> our bodies are there, we physically showed up, but have we really showed up? Are our mind, heart, and spirit present? Are we really just daydreaming? And are we really present? So often we're replaying in our head the argument we may have had with the spouse, or the traffic on the way to work, or that memo that we just read. How different would it be if we really showed up mind, body, and spirit. How would showing up affect our communication and our connection and relationships with each other and in our leadership? How can we really make sure we show up? Here are seven tips to ensure we're showing up. Number one, always begin with awareness. Be aware that you are entering into a conversation and you wanna to move to that conversation into true, authentic connection. Two, be present in the moment. Turn off all the distractions, both literal and figurative ones. Three, be honest. If now is not the right time to focus on a conversation, then reschedule it for a better time. Number four, if you find yourself wandering, just fess up and start again. The other person will appreciate your honesty. I've done this several times and I must admit that at first, it kind of takes people aback, but in the end, they do appreciate the honesty and they know that now they have your full attention. Number five, suspend judgment. Don't anticipate what you think you may hear. Number six, paraphrase what you heard. This will be a good checks and balances to ensure that you're on the right track. And number seven, be available and approachable. And now I'd love to hear from you. How do you show up? Does mind, body, and spirit all arrive? If not, what part are you holding back and why? Let's continue our discussion after the episode. Come on over to drmariachurch.com and leave your comment. Did you enjoy this video? If so, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends, your coworkers, and your colleagues. If you would like even more resources to support you in your leadership development, to create the organization, business, and life that you love, then come on over to drmariachurch.com and sign up for my email updates. I share additional resources and insight in those emails that you won't find anywhere else. So come on over and join us. Be irresistible and leave a legacy that only you can. Thank you so much for watching Dr. Maria TV and I'll see you next time. Re recently? Or Wade? Yes. At the beginning, okay. Here are seven tips to ensure that showing up happens for you. Sorry. I think I just had a remnant of a cashew. <laughs> if you find yourself, oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess we're not at a loss for bloopers on this no. one. Okay. <laughs>